One fateful night, my parents gave their lives for me. They became my heroes, their legacy untouchable. Until I learned the truth. My father, Thomas Wayne, was a criminal. He ruled over Gotham from the shadows. And everything I thought I knew about myself changed forever. The children of Arkham exposed the truth about my father to Gotham. Their attack turned friends into enemies and threw the city into chaos. I was committed to Arkham Asylum, where I escaped with the help of a mental patient named John Doe. After a bloody battle, I put an end to it all in the catacombs beneath the city. The Penguin, Two-Face, and Lady Arkham were the first real challenge I faced as the Batman, but they would not be the last. Spring has arrived in Gotham, and with it comes City Hall's quarterly crime report. Crime is way down since the fall of the children of Arkham, marking another triumph for newly minted police commissioner James Gordon. In a statement this morning, Gordon credited his success to the public partnership between the police and the Batman. He praised the mysterious vigilante for his sacrifice, describing him as essential to the security of the city. Things are looking up, citizens. After the long, dark winter <laughs> comes the thaw. Now, if only the Knights could win a game, everyone would be happy. Lucky 13! There it is. Rumi Mori. Import-export magnet. 
one time Pipex CEO, international arms dealer. The world sees Maury as a legitimate businessman, a philanthropist who gives to charity, not a criminal getting rich off the suffering of innocence, a masterful performance. I wonder if a man hides in plain sight for that long, does he forget who he really is? What do you think, Master Bruce? Must be hard to stay true to yourself. With you, I question whether Batman is the cover, or Bruce. Masks are hard to maintain. If there are cracks in Maury's, we'll find them. The GCPD already bugged his penthouse and found nothing. Meaning that if he's doing arms deals in Gotham... They happen on the casino floor.